What's up guys, more Medic One. Hey, this SRM280S, they must have sold a butt load of these things because that's all that I spent on my bench for a solid week, it seems like. But check out this ticket. Runs and stop. Well, get, won't, I guess that's won't stay on. Guys, and I understand it's getting towards the end of the cutting season. And uh, and I'm sure these guys have multiples of these weed eaters and they'll take a part off of one to get another one going and forget that they've taken something out. And guys, you can't run a weed eater, especially that's in a dust storm without an air filter. Look at that dirt ingestion. Every second that this engine has been running, it's been without an air filter. I can guarantee you this engine is flipping toast. Being loose, I'm just going to pinch this with my finger. Check this out. That's how loose they were. Try this one. Yep, loose as a goose. Well, probably tight enough to work, but it wouldn't have been long and this manifold would have been falling off. And the reason that they do get loose is they drop these trimmers on the, on the air filter side and it stretches the dead gum uh, bolts out. It stresses that phenolic spacer enough. It's just no bueno. Let's go ahead and take this intake off and let's take a peek at that pistion. Huh, look at that. That daggum intake gasket's blown out. Look at that scoring. That is some deep lacerations. Look how polished that intake tract is. You know why it's polished? Because it's had nothing but dirt to polish it running through there. Ain't that something? My goodness. Could you put an intake gasket on here and probably make it run? Possibly. But unless you take this engine 100% apart, take the bearings out of it, wash the bearings, and wash everything out with mineral spirits, something clean, like some brake cleaner. Uh, it's... It, it, <laughs> If you just fix this right here and get it running again, you still have an engine full of dirt. And when that thing runs, it's just like liquid sandpaper on the inside. So you'd have to do an extensive cleaning to even get 50% of your uh, life expectancy out of this thing. It's just not good. I mean, look at the carburetor, look at the whole outside. Look how filthy that is. I mean, these guys just absolutely do not care about the equipment that they use. Nine times out of 10, whenever this gasket blows out or breaks out is because the dead gum intake manifold is loose. I'm gonna throw an intake gasket on this. We're gonna button it back together and see if we can't get it to run. Guys, is it me or does there, does anybody else love the smell of Loctite, especially the red? It's just got an odor that's just so pleasant to me. Some people may hate it, I don't know. Let's go ahead and get this intake gasket cinched up here and we'll throw this carburetor back on and at least see if uh, 
we can get another spring or maybe even a summer out of this thing. I don't know. Might last five more years, might last five more minutes. There ain't no telling. Not with the amount of dirt ingestion that this thing has had. Too bad for the amount of abuse that this poor trimmer has been subject to like I said but at this point you wouldn't want to let this uh, you wouldn't want to let this unit go out in this condition however you need to leave that up to the customer and you need to write up your repair ticket and you need to note the absolute flip out of it that all of your findings, what you did to it, and if it comes back for anything that the customer is gonna to have to pay. With that being said, guys, these little echo trimmers are just tougher than a bag of hammers. You can throw these things around and they'll take the abuse, but you abuse them too long and for too hard, they will, they will break on you, anything any manufacturer weed eater has their weak points it's definitely a little, a little bit low in the compression the compression department this little echo trimmer along just for a little while longer i don't expect it to last uh until the water gets hot. But anyway, hey, if this content helped you out, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, subscribe and click that bell so that you'll get all my new videos. Y'all have a good day. More Medic One.